Hello everyone, this is Yashwant, back with an interesting topic. Now, in this video, I am going to explain you about open source and closed source softwares. Yes, before going to this topic, I would like to mention you something about the websites and web applications. Um, for suppose, every web application and every software must have the source code, right? Source code in the sense, the code which we have written to implement that application. Right, for suppose if you take one sub one website or one software, you can get the source code easily, right? If that source code is available freely in the internet, then it is called open source software. If not, it is a closed source software. Simply an open source software is defined as the source code of a software or a web application is available freely on the internet, then it is called open source software, if not closed source software. Open source software not only allows you to freely download the source code, but also you have an opportunity to make changes and make it as a new version. For suppose there is a language, um, for, for suppose Java or Python, there are many versions of the language but with the same name. How can these versions made out of? These are not going to be built up by only a single person. It is open source language. So anyone can modify it and contribute our ideas to it. If it is accepted, we are a developer, right? So open source software allows us to be as a developer. Yeah, everyone is good in coding. Uh, if you are interested in coding, but you don't have the retentivity to develop a software. In this case, you can choose the open source software and you can make changes to it according to your wish. And if it is acceptable by everyone, then you can contribute to it. This is what open source can allow you. It can allow you to be as a developer. But what about closed source? If the source code is not available in the internet, then it is called a closed source. Due to some production issues or security issues, some websites or some softwares may not be interested to keep the source code online. For suppose, the examples of open source softwares are like uh, Java, Python, and there are many lot open source example. While coming to closed source, yes, MS Office. MS Office, yeah, we all know how to use MS Office, but we don't get MS Office source code in anywhere. If you don't believe me, try to search in the internet. You won't get MS Office source code. This is what closed source software is. And I think now you guys be able to clear about open source and closed source softwares. Now, if you really want to be a developer, but you don't have that skill, then try for open source software. There are many platforms in many resources which you can provide, which you can be provided with open source softwares. There are like Bitbucket, GitHub. These are the examples you can get the open source software freely available. You can download it and you can make changes and you can again put it on the repository then you are a contributor thank you for watching please subscribe